Good evening, folks. Welcome to tonight's game between the Pennsylvania Quakers and the Princeton Tigers. Wow, these two rivals have been waiting a long time to get ready for this one. We got a chance to truly see who's the better team. Yes, who is really the team in the nation. Forget about rankings. Forget about history. Forget about every game played before tonight because this is the one that counts. You said it, Dick. It's going to be wild in here tonight. The Tigers should be in for an uphill battle tonight, Dick. What do you see as the keys to their success? Well, the keys are very simple, my friend. Number one, I look at the point guard to step up tonight and really take control of his club. Second, don't let turnovers decide the game. Protect the ball. Take care of the basketball. Lastly, win the battle on the glass. That's going to be huge tonight. Boy, that stat at the end could be a big one. Well, Dick, let's get down to the court and let's get the action underway. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure. Just enough to force the steal. That was awesome, baby. Both teams are looking to get something going here. On the outside. Now trying to feed the low block. And up. Great play to take that to the basket. Number 10 comes up with it. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Down inside. For the bucket. Nice shot. Roll it back, fellas. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Tries for two. I tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. Jump hook from the low post. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Now work it around the arc. On the dribble, gives it up. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. The ball goes out of bounds. Got the post flashing if he wants it. For two. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. If he keeps this up, he may collapse. His teammates must pick it up. The defender is still applying great ball pressure, Brad. There's the screen up on top. They go into the low block. Tries to turn. The defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. He attempts a jump hook. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. Double team now, bad angle. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. Almost lost the basketball. Trying to draw some contact. Moving it around the perimeter. And the ball goes out of bounds.
He stays in control until they regroup the offense. Gave it up. The center gets the ball for the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Trying to feed the low block. Number 42, pump fakes. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Number 10 takes the pass. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> they work the perimeter. Had a momentary look from three-point land. Listen to the crowd. You can cut the intensity with a knife. You're right. The student sections, the bands, and the crowd are always urging their team to victory like a sixth man. Hard, hard. Four, four, two. Two. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Picked out of the air. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Tries for two. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Turn around jumper. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. He went for the steal in the post and he missed it, Dick. Oh, I'll tell you one thing. What a poor job defensively. He gambled. This is the team's first trip to the free throw line. Makes the first shot. Hits the second shot. What's the perimeter? Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. There's the pick. Trying to draw the foul. Perfectly executed. Ball was loose, but the offense got it back. Great play to take that to the basket. They come with a double team to stop it. Russell is emotionally pumped up. Well, he's had some success, and he feels good. This kid's on an emotional high right now. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. The center gets the pass. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing them to make that turn. Ten on the shot clock. He shoots from left to the circle. Tickles a twine. He shoots from the top of the key. Nice job of using the screen to get open for that good shot. The power forward with the ball. Puts it on the floor and up and under. The Tigers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. They 
work it back to the outside. Puts up the tray. Man, he lured the defender to the screen, giving him time to shoot the sweet J. Offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. And frustration right there. On the dribble, gives it up. Turns it over. From right in the circle, Pennsylvania are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. The shooting guard takes the feed. The kick out. He shoots from outside. Drains it. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. There he is, strips the ball loose. Parks draws the... He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's one you take for the team, Brad. The momentum is on their side. High fives, chest bumps. We're seeing it all now. They're definitely having some fun out there. The Quakers are going to be at the line for the first time in this game. He makes it. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. There's a double team waiting there. He shoots from the top of the circle, gets it to fall. Isolated on the outside, they're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. There it is, Champ City. We get another look at it in the lane. He's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. He keeps his dribble as they reset. They work it around the perimeter. Entry pass in the paint. Great anticipation defensively. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Jumped in front to take it away. Hall picks up the foul. First personal foul. Aaron, you got one of the best places to sit in the whole building. Uh, how's it look in this rivalry game here in the first half from your viewpoint? Brad, it's very unusual to have one team winning by so many points in a rivalry game. The coaching staff and players, they just have looks of disbelief on their faces. All right, thanks, Aaron. Misses the second. Pulls down the board. He unloads. Nice job of dribbling off the screen, but the shot just didn't fall. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. And the ball goes out of play. Standing ovation. You've got to love this reaction by the crowd. What emotion, what passion. The crowd appreciates their effort. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. 
Got the shot if he wants it. And now they'll bring it up. Steals the ball. Gave it up. Pull up jumper from way out. Off the rim and no good. On the outside. Takes the pass in the paint. The ball goes out of play. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. Moving it around the perimeter. Oh, what a strip, Red. Dickey's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. It's good. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Looking for a good shot. For two. Can't get the shot to go. Working around the perimeter. From the top of the circle, what should they do here, Dick? I'd call a timeout and see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Here's a double team. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. On the dribble, gives it up. Double team now, bad angle. Stolen away. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, did a great job creating a good angle, too. When he goes up and under, he seals off the defensive player. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Wow, can we get slow-mo, please? <laughs> Defensively, low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. A uh, terrific job creating the opportunity, and it really converts an offensive transition. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. He tries the three ball, scorches the net. <laughs> Up and inside. Defensively down on the low block, and there's a steal. A terrific job anticipating, reading the offense, and making that steal. Gave it up. Picked off. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Now they work it around the perimeter. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He shoots from long range. <laughs> Here's 
Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coaches dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. On the dribble, gives it up. That spin move not successful, Dick. I tell you, great job by the defense not allowing him to make that turn. For the bucket. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. The student body is rocking tonight. They want to win just as bad as anyone else in the building. High post flasher is open. Shoots it. It sticks. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position. Has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. off the pass. He brought the ball back down. LaFleur has stripped them. That's good. Looking for a screen on top and got it. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. <laughs> Moving it around the perimeter. He fakes the shot. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. That spacing. He comes away with it. Gave it up. Opportunity for two for one. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. And he missed. Number 34 wants the fans to get behind him and his team. You know, Brad, he wants the fans backing for this defensive possession. Nice move with a face-up. I tell you one thing, Brad, I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. He goes with a baby hook. He can't miss. And this young man's feeling it, Brad. Number 34 wants some encouragement from the fans. Brad, he wants some fan support for this offensive possession. At the end of the first half, the Quakers are ahead by five. Princeton seemed to have caught the turnover bug in that first half, Dick. And that was big, and it bit them hard. You can't put points on a board if you turn the ball over. They better hope it doesn't come back to haunt them. Dick, you got to love these rivalry games and that bad blood. It's going to continue in the second half. Well, I'll tell you, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. I'll tell you, both clubs playing with a lot of passion, Brad. The center receives the pass. Tries for two. Doesn't go. They'll work it around the arc. Too much. That's a foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. High post player flashing. 
for two and in and out. We're going to move it around the perimeter. They're working around the perimeter. We'll take the shot way off target. On the outside. On the inside. There they come with a double team to stop it. He lets it go. It's no good. This defender is resilient. Still applying pressure. The ball goes out of bounds. You start comparing these backcourts, Dick, what are your impressions so far? You know, well, for me, Brad, good guard play will take you a long ways. If you think about teams in the past, they all have good guards who can apply good ball pressure, attack off the dribble, and distribute the ball. I can't emphasize enough how important backcourt play is. Working it around the perimeter. They work the perimeter. Fires away. He gets the shot to fall. Way out on top. Control. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. The Tigers have a mismatch. Makes the block. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. And he throws it right away. Great steal. Nothing going to come easy tonight, baby. They are really playing for keeps. On the inside. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Dribble gives it up. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. The good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. For the bucket and off the mark. Tries for two. The Quakers are ahead by eight. Dump it inside. Here's the three ball. Goes in. <laughs> For two, perfectly executed. The Quakers are up by seven. Gave it up. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. There's the pick. There's the roll. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. He nails the shot. turnover and we're not talking apple turnovers either I'll tell you he missed the post guy the post guy had the great angle was locking on a box he tries the three off the rim and no good he intercepts it Pennsylvania are on a nice little run at the moment partner they have to remember solid defense leads to good offense which is what we're seeing right now looking for a good shot for the bucket Perfectly executed. The small forward handles the pass. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting the good inside angle. A poor job defensively. No help. 
I mean, that is post play at its best. There's a double team waiting there. Takes the shot. Way off target. Tempo to game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Atkinson, he takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's one you take for the team, Brad. If his actions weren't deflating enough, how about this? He's definitely provoking this crowd. You've got that right, Brad. At the foul line. He got it. The Quakers lead by 11. there but no foul called there. I tell you, good call by the official. Not blowing a whistle. I think it's an excellent call. Looking for a good shot. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talent for guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Tries for two. Got it. a pass on the dribble gives it up moving it around the perimeter on the inside he takes the shot off the baseline off the rim and no good Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there I tell you doing a great job fronting him trying to beat him to the spot playing in front making him throw the lob pass over the top if you get help you can take that pass away Let's it fly. You betcha. Look at that spacing. For two. Can't get the shot to go. Gave it up. He launches a three. Way off target. Jumps into the defender. The Tigers are down by 12. Intercepted. On the dribble, gives it up. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Let's see if it looks as good on the replay. Dump it inside. up for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. He shoots from the top of the key. Nice shot. Looking for contact. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. 
That was nice. The center in the paint. There's the trap. He takes it away. On the outside. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. The Tigers have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. Brad, he's on fire. Takes away the pass. Went away from the post and goes the other way. On the dribble, gives it up. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Look at that celebration. He is pumped. He's trying to pump up the fans, too. He's saying, hey, come along for the ride. He's saying, show me some love. I'm working my tail off here. Defense giving some room. He shoots from right of the circle. Scorches the net. I'm running right at the screen again. What did I say? Tries for two. I'll tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. Working around the perimeter. For two, perfectly executed. Here we go on the break. Picked out of the air. to the basket the Tigers are behind by 15 Aaron the tides turned in this rivalry it looks like it started off relatively close and now it's a double-digit ball game guys emotions down here on the court are a lot different than they were in the first half players have towels over their heads frustrations are starting to mount and it looks like this one could be blown wide open all right thanks Aaron that basketball it's stolen nice job there by the defense knocking the ball loose then getting possession Dick they're ripping up the nets tonight hey they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight great execution by these boys and has it rejected defense did a great job with the block shot steals the ball Paul picks up the defensive foul. Second personal foul. Oh, look at him sneering at the crowd. They won't like that one bit. Brad, the players are feeling it, and they want everyone to know that they're feeling it. He goes to the free throw line. He makes the first. Pennsylvania are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Either. That's an eight zip run. Up and inside. Stop and pop. Off the rim and no good. They'll work it around the arc. Jumps in. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score.
Maybe some game plan changes, Dick. You never know what's coming, Brad. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Gave it up for the bucket. And in and out. Grabs the board. Then have got to get out and fill the lanes, Brad. Jumped in front to take it away. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. That's a 12 zip run. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. Look at that spacing. He fires it up. Way off target. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Fake. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. They scored 14 in a row. Picked off. Well, the defender goes down, but there's no call either way. Wow, no call right there. I think that was a good call, though, by the official. Dickey's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Picks off the pass. They work it around the perimeter. Had him in the paint, but went elsewhere. Controlling the ball. Dick, are they a little bit confused as to who's supposed to be where? That's my guess, too, Brad. On the outside. They're going to need a miracle to get a victory in this one now. Start the bus, baby. This one is over. The winning team can't relax. They're over there feeling good. He shoots from the top of the circle. Parks drains the tray. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locked it on a box. The Tigers have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipated really well. Looking for a good shot. Good fake. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I'll tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. He intercepts it. Parks has been negatively influenced by his play and the events which have unfolded here. He needs to take a deep breath, refocus, and get after it. Well, Dick, what's the front court production looking like to you? Well, you know, Brad, your bigs really can influence how your teams play. Rebound, blocking shots, ultimate shots are all very important skills which your big players should possess. And there they miss one. He takes the board. I think that's why college basketball has the following it does, Dick. People from all over town and throughout the campus come and enjoy themselves at these games. Listen to that roar. It's unbelievable. <laughs> On the dribble, gives it up. Steals a pass.
from three-point land. Knocks it down. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Post screen, so effective that screen. He looks for three. He hits it. They'll work it around the arc. He launches the bomb. He nails the bucket. Gave it up. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. He takes a three. Tickles a twine. This is worth the second look. Oh, hard screen felt by the defender. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. He looks at the hoop. Here's a nice face up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just the tap him and took it to the basket. And again, let's take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a capital land. Shot clock is dead. On the dribble, gives it up. Intercepted. On the outside. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Dick, all the hype and hoopla prior to this rivalry game, and it, it didn't pan out the way we expected, really. Well, everybody was really keyed up, expected a great game, but they got the great start early, and that was it. It was blowout city. Princeton is whipped with authority by this huge blowout loss. They weren't expected to win one, but it looks like they gave up before the game even started. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler.